The parts of the curriculum that I really liked were the machine learning and deep learning units. You know, just to learn about all these techniques because they kind of feel like magic. It seems very mysterious, like how can a computer make these sorts of predictions or things like that. It was really cool to kind of like demystify that and then also learn the skills to be able to like put that into practice. Board or before I was a data scientist, I was an analytical biochemist. I worked in biotech and we made immunotherapies. So basically taking patient cells and then engineering them to make medicines for um, people with cancer, people with all sorts of um, like different kinds of rare autoimmune diseases, those kinds of things. You know, I needed to give myself the freedom to really pursue a career that not only am I good at, but that I really enjoy. Like, I loved doing my old job. I loved it. But, you know, when I come home from work, I would still be like on my computer and like doing like little projects on the side. And it's just like really amazing to me that I get paid to do that now. I felt like I had a pretty good um, skills, but then a lot of it was really specific to my biology research. So that's kind of why I felt like if I want to do this as a job, I don't know if I'm well-rounded enough to do this as like a full-time job. So that's kind of why I was looking for options to like, like, should I do a master's? Should I do a boot camp? Like, what should I do um, to kind of fill in those gaps and kind of like really strengthen my foundation so that, you know, even though I don't have a comp sci degree, I can still like do this. It was really nice that like, in this like non-traditional setting, um, that I could get the time that I really needed to, you know, like dig my teeth into subjects and like really pay attention to each aspect and, you know, take my time digesting all the concepts and really understanding every single line of code that I write. Having the opportunity to talk to someone who, you know, knows, like has the foresight to see like eventually you're gonna need to do X, Y, Z, or you're gonna need this at this point, or you have to learn how to do that. They've already been in my shoes and like they know like 10 steps ahead, like what's gonna happen. People only go so far by themselves. Having someone to like help in like every week and just kind of like when I was struggling um, with my moves or whatnot, it was, it was really helpful. I currently work as a hybrid data scientist and ML engineer at AWE Technologies here in Boston. It's a small startup, but you know, I kind of like that environment just because by working in a startup over a larger company, I, I really get a lot more attention because the team is so small and because I'm one of the founding members of the data science team, I really get to have a lot of impact on the algorithm development and the data pipeline and how all of that moves forward into the future. I really get to establish the foundation for that. That's maybe an experience that I wouldn't have um, as you know, an entry-level data scientist in a larger company. I'm working in health tech. My project is for clinical use and I think that's so cool. I still get to have an impact on patients and their quality of treatment and quality of life, even though I'm not in the lab. And that's exactly what I wanted 
data science for me was really a means to achieve those sorts of impacts for patients and really like discover new technologies that can help them.